So, we are back in Civ 6. We are running the Community Edition of CQUI, which I suspect will probably get renamed completely different later on. Uh, just because the, the main branch of CQUI, uh, I don't know if it's dead. There still seems to be plenty of activity on the, on the GitHub, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. So, this is the start. I was on Twitter, and I was saying I would like to do a religious victory, or attempt to do a religious victory, on deity because we haven't done that yet i think we've only done one religious victory and it was very 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 early on we we're playing as um as the vikings i think right and uh i think it was on a lower difficulty so we're going to try it again here of course many things have changed since then we're going to try to go religious and we've been playing a lot of continents and pangea maps so i said let's go back to island plates over here and i feel like while there are a couple good options for religious court kind of oriented civilizations i felt like spain might be a good fit we haven't played spain yet and i mean you know spanish armadas and stuff like that we got all that kind of jazz going on so i think it'd be okay yeah the devs are on strike because of the summer patch which, I mean, I understand what they're saying. I understand what they're saying, but at the same time, it's a little disappointing. But hey, lovely thing about open source stuff is other people can pick up um, on the plan. So yes, we were on... I was on Twitter. I was asking for feedback about different things. We are, and you can do a what game to get the info, we are playing Deity Difficulty, Epic Speed, Standard Map Size, Island Plates Map. Although normally on a Standard Map Size, you would get 12 City States. I boosted it to the max of 18, this one, just to give it a slightly different feel. Um, and yeah, we're playing Epic Speed, and uh, so, and standard map, there's going to be a total of eight sibs, including us, there's seven opponents, I left them random, and uh, and then on Twitter as well, I, I loaded up this map and said, okay, this is the first map I rolled, this is the first thing we got, we got some mountains over here, it's like, okay, we got a decent holy site, site, holy site, site, either here, uh, we've got a decent campus location, perhaps here, or, I mean, we can always stick a, a, the holy site here instead if we need, want to preserve this for some reason, but I don't know. So, I mean, we've got decent locations for the starting things. I also went and restarted a couple times until I got a stone location, and I posted up on Twitter as well to say, if someone would prefer to see us do a Stonehenge site, there's this. There was some discussion back and forth, but I think I'm pretty keen on this one. The biggest concern I have about this start is that it is very, very low on production going forward. Early on, it's going to be fine. You know, we worked forest or two, we're okay. But long term, you really kind of tend to need a lot of mountains, or sorry, not mountains, hills that you can mine. And right now, we've only got one. I mean, we have plenty of food, double wheat, lots of sea resources. We're going to get a fair amount of gold from this too. That's good. But I'm a little concerned about how quickly we can build things um, in our capital. So whatever our second city will be, we're probably going to have to really hope that we can get a good production site if we ever want a chance to build wonders. Um, ideally, if we want to build navies, military, anything like that. Yeah, the first barbarian invasion will be scary. Although, we are very protected here. I mean, there's only two avenues from which barbarians can come in. One's a hill. I mean, we can just stick someone on there and, like, pfft, we're just laughing, right? So that'll be the big question mark. But, yeah, the, the production will be a question. If there are mount or, sorry, if there are hills on the other side of this mountain... We're going to be good. We're going to be golden in terms of production. But otherwise, yeah, I don't know. We're definitely not going Petra here for two reasons. One, there's not that much desert. And two, we don't have the production to build it. Um, and again, Petra is something I like to outsource, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to try this. I think there may be hills on the other side of the mountain. It depends, because for all we know, well, there's a little forest here. Sometimes, like, there can be more mountains here, and then when you discover it, it sort of, like, redraws the graphic for the complete connection. So it's a little hard to, like, fog peak. It's a little easier to fog peak in 4 and 5. Civ so 6 is a little rougher. But I don't know. So we'll see. If we fail to get a profit, which is entirely possible, because, again, we're on Deity. On Deity, um, the AI starts with four free techs and four free civics, plus a big boost to production, um, as well as the science and the, and the civic stuff, which means that there's a good chance that the AI already has astrology, which is one of the other reasons why Stone Starts on Deity is kind of eh, because there's a good chance someone can start building Stonehenge right at the start of the game. Um, but they might already have astrology, which means they'll be able to get the um, holy sites out very, very, very quickly and start generating great profit points. And someone will probably steal one by building Stonehenge, for example. If we don't manage to get a great profit, we're going to have to make a decision at that point as to whether or not we'll continue or restart the game and try again for the religious thing. Because obviously, if we don't get a profit, we don't get to found a religion, which means we don't get to do for a religious victory. I mean, we might still win in another way, but people will have to decide if we want to do that or not. So start thinking about that just in case something goes badly. Where's the Warhammer 2 stream? Warhammer 2 stream starts on Friday, the 22nd, not the 20th, if you recheck the video. 
22nd, on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we will be streaming Warhammer 2, or Warhammer, or Total War Warhammer 2, it's going to be an exclusive stream featuring the Lizardmen faction, um, we're going to be starting at 2 p.m. Eastern on Friday, noon on Saturday, our normal time, and then again 2 p.m. on Sunday as well. So with that, I think we're going to get started. So, I don't see any reason to move our settler here. Now, in Civ 6, we don't actually need to be on the coast to build ships. Um, although, this way we could build ships without needing to first build a harbor. Um, the other thing is, if we settle on the coast, we'll get the inspiration, or the Eureka, I suppose, for sailing. Which is probably something we need on the island plates map. I guess I could move the warrior first. Now, I'd really like to see what's on top of this hill over here. But I can't do it in one turn. So I think I'm just going to move left, and then maybe like go around the mountain this way. So, let's do this, plus this should... Okay, that was very important, because one of the things I was concerned about is where we might build our harbor. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, here or here. I'm hoping there's, like, another fish or something over here. It'd be nice if we could get double um, sea adjacency for our harbor, but as long as we get a singleton, it's going to be okay. If we end up building... You want the harbor to be adjacent to your capital now? They keep making changes. Oh, you know what I should do? Before we go any further... Uh, let's take a look at, um, Spain. Because we should look at their actual stats, which is what we tend to do. So, the Spanish ability is Treasure Fleet, which is kind of interesting. It allows you to build fleets and armadas, the equivalents of cores and armies, but for ships, earlier than normal. You get it? Mercantilism. So we can build very powerful navies earlier than expected, which is going to be really key on this map. Trade routes between multiple continents get bonus gold for civilization and food and production between cities. Um... Just because something's on a different island, I don't think it's guaranteed to be a different continent. Although, it should be relatively easy to do intercontinental trade routes over there. So, that's the Spanish ability. And then, Philip himself has um, the El Escorial ability, which makes your Inquisitors get an extra charge. They can remove heresy one extra time, which may or may not come in to be really powerful and important. Uh, and combat units of bonus plus four combat strength against players following other religions. Okay, fair enough. Um, if we actually go back to Spain, we can take a look at their unique unit and building. Unique unit is a conquistador, replaces the musket, gets a bonus to combat strength, a big, big bonus to combat strength if it's adjacent to or in the same hex. Oh, not, uh, not adjacent, sorry. In the same hex as a religious unit. So put a religious unit on top of a conquistador, plus 10 combat strength, which is huge. And if this unit captures a city or is adjacent to the city, the city will automatically adopt the religion. So it'll auto-convert the city at the same time. Really, really nice ability. And then the other thing is we have a special improvement called the mission. We build it, we can build it anywhere, and it gets plus two faith, which is okay, but I'm not convinced it's not necessarily better than, you know, a mine or a farm or something like that. But it gets another plus two faith if it's on a different continent. Okay, plus four faith, that's pretty good. And I think most importantly, plus two science if built next to a campus district. Does it say... Desert, hills, grassland, hills, plains, hills, snow, hills. Tundra, hill. So it looks to me like you can build the mission on any terrain whatsoever, which is important to note. For our capital, if we built the campus here, we'd be able to build two missions, but desert tiles are pointless. I think we're still going to end up being the, building the campus here, build the mission here. We're only going to get one super powerful one in our capital for the bonus science. That's okay, though. So, anyway, let's go to the wheat and see what else we can see. Um, one, two... There's a hill, but it's out of range of our city. Still, I think we're going to settle in place. I'm okay with that. I mean, we could move inland a little bit, but then we would lose this fish. I'm going to just settle in place. Boom. Gives us the Eureka towards sailing. Uh, oh, does reveal another fish here. Oh, you know what? Fish, whales, this becomes a good place for the harbor. Although, again, the harbor... Yeah, gets bonus gold for being adjacent to the city. So we actually will want to build the harbor there. I suppose if I'd moved the city to here, that would cost us a whole turn. Then we could build the harbor here for a bit more. But we didn't have the info. Eh, it's fine. Will we reach the whales? One, two, three. Yes, we will reach the whales. 
I know I'm slightly over the main map. I guess I'll move over a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Production. Now. On Deity, you have to really worry about um, barbarians. Being on an island map, depending on how big our island is, although it looks like we may be on a slightly larger one, we may have to worry about barbarians less. I don't know. I think we still start with a slinger. Either a slinger or an actually just a second warrior. The slinger, if you get the kill, you get the boost to archery, which is really nice. Um, I am tempted to start with a builder or just a monument, to be honest. I don't know. I think we're going to skip scout because I don't think we're going to have much work for a scout. Like, normally, yes, yeah, scout really, really, really good. I don't think we're going to have enough land to, 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 to um, warrant a scout this time. So I think we're going to grab a slinger. We're still going to get, we're still going to hope that we can get the boost somewhere along the way. Research, we have to go astrology first. We have to be able to build a holy site ASAP. Otherwise, we're never, ever, ever, ever going to get a uh, religious leader. So we're going to see. It is deity difficulty, yeah. Which is like, it's going to be really hard to found a religion on deity. All right, I guess we'll go across to the marsh. The Cantonal is the most complex intertropical alluvial plain of the planet. And perhaps the least known area of the world. Why do I always find this wonder? I mean, that's really good. But for some freaky reason, this is always the wonder that we end up getting to take advantage of. I don't know why it is. Okay, there's a boost towards astrology. Which, oh, that's, oh! Oh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. That's good. Shaved half the time off of astrology, and we need to rush that. You know where we're standing right here? I can sort of see us maybe settling here. Next to the river, fresh water. We'll be able to work these tiles. All right, let's get up on this hill. Okay, this is another hill over here that we can mine later. Really, really good news. I didn't actually check to see which tiles were working. Um, no, we want the growth. Yeah. I'll tell it go hammer focus. We can take advantage of the, the hammer growth trick, assuming that's still a thing in this game. Um, yeah, we, we want to grow a little bit faster here. Rushing out the slinger is not actually critical. Careful the city doesn't fall into the swamp. Ah, oh, I built a castle on the swamp. They said it couldn't be done. Well, it sank into the swamp. And we built it again. That one sank too. We built it again. That one burnt down, fell over, and then sank into the swamp. But the fourth castle, that one stood up. I think I'm going to keep going this way. I don't suspect if we've got any goody huts here, which we may, like, if we get lucky, we'll have one. But there, I don't think there's going to be competition with another AI to rush there. Speaking of goody hut, cotton rice... No fresh water. I'm assuming the swamp doesn't give fresh water. No, it does not. Okay, what do we think the Goody Hut's gonna have? Place your bets. Now that okay, state workforce is ha. Let's build any specialty district, like a holy site, which we're clearly already going to rush. I don't think I, I don't think that did anything for us. Yeah. Normally I'd be quite keen on it, but we obviously have to rush the um the holy the holy site, so. Womp womp. Okay, hold on. We've got eight turns to astrology. We clearly have to start the holy site right away. Yeah, you know, we're not going to be getting our builder or a monument very quickly, but I guess that's going to be it. Finish the slinger, put a couple of turns into probably builder, and then switch over to the holy site immediately. I'm going to keep going around this way. Okay, so I mean, no fresh water over here, but we, if, if there to be a river right over here, that would be the best. Um, because I'd like to settle maybe, you know, can you imagine settling here and then... Never mind, I'm going to turn around and beat the crap out of a barbarian here. Uh, I'm going to go down this way in case he moves down here. I don't spot the city. So there's clearly a barbarian encampment over here. But is this like the first game where we happen to go in the right direction to actually see the barbarian? 
I mean, luckily there's no, you can't like, the barbarians can't spawn over here. That's the advantage to being on the coast. We've got some ability to, to control the flow. Uh, no Stonehenge possibility, no. But we will, we will holy site. I'm pretty confident we're going to build it here. First of all, it's within the reach already. Um, that's another triple mountain thing. We need some cash to buy a tile, perhaps. We could end up building our campus here. I think we still holy site here. Can barbarians send ships? Yeah, and actually the ships are really brutal and dangerous. I don't know if they can start spawning them right away, though. Oh, we named the city. Thank you very much. I actually already have the subscriber list up. Our capital city is going to be called... Neloup. A classic Spanish city name. Uh, and or someone who's been subscribed uh, for a couple months. You know, one of those things. The tip pro boom program is... Not on. I thought I had started it. Hold on. My bad. There it goes. Sorry about that. Uh, we did, in fact, get a tip in from Flamebeard, who says, As a Spaniard, I approve this Inquisition. Thank you very much, Flamebeard. I, I approve your approval. Cheers. Thank you, and thank you for the contribution. Terja says, I see desert Petra. Not so much. Not so much, unfortunately. Technically, this is a mountain... A desert mountain, but that doesn't really help. And yeah, with one desert tile, we could build it on here and then not improve anything, unfortunately. But I appreciate your enthusiasm, and as always, I appreciate your support. Thank you. And Peter V. Gruen! Thank you as well. Hey, I just want to drop by and say hello. Sadly, I'm too tired to watch the stream. Looking forward to Saturday's stream. Yeah, and again, Friday, Friday is going to be the start of the Total War Warhammer 2 stream. So try to, try to bookmark your time for that. And everyone on spam until I... Mountain Petra? What are you spamming so I notice? Maybe it's something I already noticed at this point. City's been renamed. We got the tip program going. It could be a quad mountain site. You're right. Um, how much is it costing us right now to buy a tile? 75. Well, so in three turns... Actually, that, that'll line up fine. We'll have enough money to buy that and and check. And that's probably the way I'm going to do it rather than explore over there. I don't think I'll actually be able to catch this guy. But what I should be able to do is find his um, his barbarian encampment. Let's, I'm going to go and stand here. I mean, a heal. I'm going to go over there and just try to kill the barbarian encampment. I don't need to worry about the scout triggering things if I'm killing the encampment. God of the Sea for production. Yup, that would be pretty good. That's... Yep. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're just going to put a couple of turns into something. Um, probably a builder, actually, rather than the monument. Because by the time we finish the holy site, we're going to finish this. Um, we're probably, next thing we're probably going to do is research sailing for fishing boats. Because we've got a lot of opportunity for that. Especially if we get God of the Sea kind of thing. Hopefully we beat the AI to it. That'll be kind of tricksy, but we'll do what we can. Um... I think it's fine to just work these. We could get a little bit more growth over here. But we're not going to grow before the next building. Yeah, I'm alright. Alright, you're fully healed. Let's go find a target. Don't know where the scout's gone about. So astrology's about to finish. Oh, there he is. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right Oh, to I need to himself. change. I still I gotta go in, into the code and change the pop-up rules, because I want to make sure... I get the pop-up, because otherwise I'll miss that I can make a civics change. So, tech-wise, I could go straight to sailing, or I could pick up the other things that don't need a Eureka. Um, they don't reveal anything, though. Um, this would allow the chopping of wood. I'll actually start with mining, because a chop to accelerate the holy site... No, that's not going to work out, unless I finish the builder first. Holy site's 14 turns. 
What do you mean no location suitable for this zone? Can I not build it on top of forests? And automatically smash the forest? Oh, I have to be able to chop woods to build on there. Okay, so I don't actually have to pre-chop, but I do need the tech for it. Alright, well then there's two options. I could buy this tile and start it here to accelerate things. Well, that's pretty much the only option. So maybe just buy it, put it on the desert tile. And then we'll take the, the better site for um, uh, for a campus. Because while the adjacency bonus for a holy site does give you more faith, it doesn't give you any more great profit points. I think we're going to buy the desert tile and build the holy site here. I don't want to wait for mining. We're going to do that. It's going to be okay. What I could do is we could build we could build a commercial th hub here and then the campus here and get a little bit of adjacency boost but i'm gonna get the plus one trade route from a um oh i gotta change the queue um i am gonna get the plus one trade route from uh the harbor so the the, the commercial district isn't quite as sexy anymore i could go for slightly just higher production it's tempting to just work both forests here Obviously, the city would grow slower. Right now, it's going to take 29 turns to grow. I might shave a thing off. It's 14 turns right now. I could get it down to 12 turns for the holy site. I feel very much like I have to do that. Two turns shaved off of this might make all the difference in us actually getting a religion. Also, might make all the difference in us actually getting God of the Sea, which I think is a little too important. I still like get get a kill on here, but it seems unlikely we'll be able to pull it off. So I'm just gonna get you up here, try to get you a killing blow on the spearman. So let's go and whomp you a little bit. No, you don't, Quill. Um, unfortunately, there's too much latency between me reading that comment and me knowing what the hell I'm talking about to be able to know what that is. And I could chop, yes, I could chop the trees to speed up the holy site, but I would need to build a builder first. So, and finish mining. I'd rather just build the holy site, because at this point, the holy site's going to be done, basically, at the same time that mining slash my builder would be done. Um, but then, you know, it would actually be finished. So that's not a kill. If I do this, there's a chance I will actually accidentally kill you with, this, with the melee unit. So I'm going to take it. I'm... I'm taking one. These are one of the times where I don't want the unit to die. I want to sit to survive with one hit point, because then I can finish him, get my Eureka. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Hooray, military tradition. Heal up. Now, even if that scout comes by and finds me. Can the scout run to, like, a different barbarian camp than the one he spawned from to cause trouble? One thing I gotta say, this island's actually pretty big. Because on island plates, you can get very tiny islands that are only big enough for one city. So, we've got some expansion potential, which is nice to see. Courageous! Thank you very much for the uh, contribution to the Whiskey and Choco Fund. I appreciate it. Hi, Quill. Thanks for the years of entertainment and the aid in discovery of many great games. Hopefully my schedule will allow me to see the Warhammer stream as well. Good luck with the Spaniards. Well, thank you very much, Courageous. Or Courageous? I don't know how to parse your name necessarily. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, and I apologize for that, but thank you very much. And I hope you can catch all the streams too. Let's go over here. So we got some sort of useless tundra over there. More crabs, though, and a little bit more fresh water. Tiny, tiny little rivers, but they're still kind of appreciated. We're going to have to do a dot map once we've revealed everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Brooklyn and three or four cities can fit on this island at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you. We actually might even do slightly more than that. Obviously, this is going to be a dead end, but I'm going to do this anyway for some vision. That's going to be fine. The other nice thing about it is we might actually find ourselves with the ability to prevent more barbarians from spawning. spawning. Code of Laws is now done. Okay. We... Um, we're most likely to finish craftsmanship first. Well, I say that. Our first builder is probably going to spend some of his charges on freaking um, chopping. Whatever. We'll do this. We'll Maybe we'll just half-research things, and it's going to be okay. Um, normally, well, okay, we don't need survey because we don't have any recon units, so I guess we'll take discipline. Um, I think we're going to have to take God King just to increase our speed of getting our first Pantheon up. Because, again, we really want to secure... Well, if we can get, like, freaking C-type stuff, that would be awfully nice. I'm going to send the Slinger up here just, just to check on things. <laughs> the sounds of a can opening makes me thirsty. I know, right? Is there anything better than that sound? Actually, there is something better than that sound, and it's the pssst from opening a beer battle. Orbital, you can run this on a fairly older system. There might the turn the the time to process turns might go up a little bit, but there's no reason you couldn't um, run it. Okay, I'm gonna start moving you down because we're gonna try to pin this guy down. And yeah, I'm just going to double check the coast over here. Just Especially later on, there might be oil or something up here. And we're going to want that information. So yeah, I'm not worried about the scout. Three turns to this. If I go and change anything... No, four turns. Okay, so keep it there. By a little bit, cool means several minutes per turn. You'll probably want to stick to a small map, which is still plenty big and plenty exciting. Um, you'd still have six civilizations around. But yeah, so you'd have to be a little bit more patient on an older computer or a weaker computer, but you can still work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pick up the sailing now. Because I think there is a Eureka for improving two sea tiles, so that'll be kind of nice. We'll try to remember to switch off of Craftsman. Okay, so you do have the exclamation mark. I'm worried there's another Barbarian encampment over here that you're going to now go to or something annoying like that. I feel... Like, I have to check here. You know what? At some point, we'll send some ships over here. Let's go and send you down. I suppose the other thing I could do is I could go animal husbandry into archery. You know what? Our, our first builder would actually have things to do. We're going to go ahead and do this first. Just in case we actually do get a barbarian explosion. And it turns out we need an archer equipped. Civics take ages. Well, I don't have my uh, my monument up, so... Oh! Excellent! Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, just unlock the tiles here. Yeah, you can work that for the food. That's, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. So, Holy Sight is complete. We're generating 3.1 faith per turn. And in terms of great people, let's take a look. Uh, do, hey, hold on. Does the Holy Site not generate great people points by itself? Do we need the shrine? I'm still going to finish the builder. I'll build the builder, and then maybe what I'll do is I'll chop the shrine. I think that's actually an excellent way to go. Because faith is what you use to spawn pantheons, right? The great profit points is for the religion itself. The Pantheon is one of the things I'm most concerned about finishing in time. Yeah, well, we're going to chop the shrine. And I think that's going to be A-OK. -okay. I don't even know if we're going to chop the shrine. Because, again, our production might be a little hurting. Well, until maybe some Pantheon stuff changes it. Spices. It looks like that might be the end of the continent here. It's possible. Sometimes what you end up with is actually effectively two different islands um, that are close enough together that they've merged into one. Which might be what happens here. Does anyone get a feeling of a canal city? It would not surprise me if this is effectively a second island here with a connection. I think the last time we played on an island map, that's kind of what ended up happening to us. And so we didn't end up with the isolated start that we expected. He didn't turn around, though. 
So, I don't know. Tell you what, I don't think we're going to need the slinger. I'm going to go over here. Spice fish sandwich. <laughs> Can we canal through a fort in six? No, I wish you could. It was one of my favorite things to do. Um, in, uh, I think Civ 4 was like the last one where you could do like a cool double fort canal. Because what you could do, if you had a fort on a coast, a ship could enter the fort. And if you had a fort on the other coast, then the ship could actually go through it. You couldn't, like, build an infinitely long canal, because, like, a fort here, which was not on the coast, a ship couldn't enter. But here you could go fort, fort, and actually have ships go through it. And I thought that was a fantastic mechanic. We're going to go ahead and use a promotion here. Um, we'll take Battle Cry for now. And I know we haven't actually killed the scout. Wait. This is Civ 6. You get automatic healing when you take a promotion. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, we're just going to rest here, but no. Oh, Scout, you're so nice. It must be a dead end. It must be. The mountain must be blocking stuff. We're going to find out in a second. Because there's no reason the Scout would keep coming back over here. Okay, animal husbandry, craftsmanship. Five turns to the builder. Okay. Two good huts better than expected. Yeah. Well, it's a larger island than expected. Ah! Barbarian camp spawned over here. Although, uh, we're not going to be able to pin this guy down because we don't have... um. No, he's going to be limited to going here because just the difficult terrain. But then he'll keep moving. It would be nice if we could have reached there because then we would have been able to prevent him from moving forward. We're going to pop the goody hut and get 20 faith. And before I turn around, I will go down here with this warrior just to scan this and, and check what the seas look like. There's a little bit more land over there, but it might not be much. And we may, in fact, be alone on this island, save for the barbarians. Double can tile canal is realistic. I mean, humans built the uh, Panama Canal after all. Absolutely. So, I mean, we don't get to, like, pre-choose the Pantheon here, right? Accumulate 37 faith. Yeah. So, I think if this were Civ 5, we could pick a, a, a Pantheon now. And it's actually important in Civ 5 to do that. You can get a Pantheon one turn earlier than you expect when you get a um, faith pop in Civ 5. But you have to actually push the button to go look for it. Um, if you just wait a turn, then you'll be prompted. Here, I don't think there's a way to force it. I think we have to wait one more turn. So we've got one goody hut that what would have been normally a quite a good outcome, but has no impact on us, because we would have gotten the Eureka when we finished the holy site anyway. But the second goody hut was quite nice, actually, because we should get our our Pantheon earlier. Maybe it wasn't as important to rush. I didn't, haven't seen any notices about Pantheons going yet, although we may not get the notices, so, God of the Sea is plus one production from fishing boats. On an island map, I think, is a no-brainer. The capital, the way it is, is doubly no-brainer, uh, because we don't have much in the way of production, but we have crap ton of fishing boat possibilities. So, I think, in fact, we're not going to chop with our builder, because I think we're going to use all three charges on fishing boats instead. It'll also give us the craftsmanship boost, which is going to be nice. So, God of the Sea, I mean, what? Found this Pantheon. And we get a boost towards mysticism because of founding a pantheon. Loverly. Move over here. Yeah, that was that was the god goody hut. I mean, semi-literally. We've got more whales. Sometimes it's important to add extra syllables in your words. Whales. So yeah, we'll go and improve. Um, that's a bonus resource. That's a bonus resource. Uh, but that's okay, because actually these are... Well, the fish are my, my preference because of the extra food. Um... The crab's not bad for some extra early gold. We actually are pretty wealthy right now. I don't think we want to do anything with it. Um, we might save up to the point where we can buy another, like, builder or something later on, or a building or something. I don't think we need to buy many more tiles. We could buy the fish, although it's going to expand there automatically. We could buy this fish to improve it a little sooner. But I suspect we'll do, like, we could do two fishes and then maybe the wheat. Or we could do two fishes and then chop a forest. But again, that wouldn't give us the Eureka Cords of Craftsman. Craftsmanship. He doesn't have sailing? I got sailing. Oh, you're right! I don't have sailing yet! Okay, well, after animal husbandry, then we'll go to sailing. Yeah, right, because I was worried about archery. But I feel like we don't really need the archery, after all. It's just slightly more paranoid than I needed to be. Alright, you make your way over here. So, we'll start by improving the wheat before we go for the fwish. Sorry, I'll stop. Do, 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 do. Blam. Excellent. Okay. I suppose we could... 
We could still go for a double chop. Yeah, we'd, we'd started on sailing, and then we were like, oh, wait, what if the barbarians are a huge problem? I better go towards archery just to be safe. Boost towards irrigation. I gotta be careful with the slinger, because you can definitely be meleeed to death by stuff like this. Where? Why are you here? Why is this guy here? And not in his hut. That that thing hasn't been triggered, so it shouldn't be spawning stuff. Uh, now, he can't kill me in one more attack, so I can probably just shoot him and then run away next turn. Depending on how promotions and stuff go, we might be, like, super okay. Alright, I'm just going to chop to accelerate the shrine. And then we'll have to get another builder. Um, I think... I think I want to do the swap now for this. I don't know if this version of the map has the info for it. Well, we'll see. I'm going to swap out of craftsmanship anyway, right now. Because otherwise we'd forget. There you go. Ah! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Just enough XP for a promotion. Uh, we're going to go for volley. Heal up. He might melee attack me again, but he won't kill me, and I'll clearly kill him next turn. I, I don't think I could have killed him with one sling, although I suppose I should have checked. Chop the trees. Boost this. Nice. What tech do you get missions at? I don't know. Let's go and find out. Bodums! Thank you very much for that explosion here. Mission. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, Quill. A contribution to the Rioja and Paella fund. Thank you very much. Uh, what's the Rioja? Hold on. Oh, it's wine. It's wine region in Spain. Okay. All right. Excellent. That sounds good. I should go and buy some... I should get some Spanish wine for our next stream. Absolutely. Uh, I study early modern economic history. Oh, cool. And love Philip II Castilian Spain. That's actually a really interesting topic. So, like, modern economic history and Philip... So, does Philip II count as part of modern economic history? I'm curious as to, like, the range. Anyway, uh, we need the exploration civic for this. So that's actually quite far. It's going to be up here. Exploration, which gives you Merchant Republic. Um, and then where's Mercantilism? Right over here. This unlocks our ability to make um, fleets and armados over here. Okay. But I feel like we'd prioritize this um, very likely because of the extra trade routes. On the other hand, Theocracy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, we're going to go and get another chop in here. Accelerate this along. Obviously, it's hurting our production. After the shrine, we're going to be building another builder. It's definitely going to be hurting our production, though. We'll still get some growth, I guess, from working the fish. Anyway, you. Pop that guy. Eureka! We've killed enough barbarians! We actually are doing really good on our Eureka account. Really good. I already have to spend a lot of faith on missionaries for conquistadors. Oh, that's true too. That's going to be an interesting timing attack there. If we did buy this tile, you're right, we'd be able to then work that space. For extra production. Um, let's just whop this guy and nearly kill him. Potentially even kill him if we got a really good roll. I suppose instead of chopping, I could save this war, this builder. No, it's fine. We'll chop. They'll probably overflow into the next builder. And then we'll go ahead and, and do this. Barely. Not much, but it's there. That's the great people, Tally. So, great profits. So, we are now producing... See, we're only producing one. So, the, the profits will go one, two, three. Currently, we might get uh, the fourth great profit if nothing changed. 
We'll see. I'm going to do this just to sort of pin him down, but not really. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Uh, what tiles are actually working? Oh, I can't see between turns. There and there. Um, it's an awful lot of gold, but... There you go. We can shave a little bit of growth time off if we go there. Produce some holy side prayers. That might be something we do to catch up. That's not a bad idea. Um, you got a goddamn boat already. We met someone. Hey, boost towards writing. Actually, that's actually pretty good development to do that. Yeah, so we can do holy site prayers over here, which will give us faith and great profit points. That might be what we do after the builder. I might have to go monument first. I don't know. No, you know what? We really need to get a profit. I think it'll end up doing this. Builder, holy site prayer, monument. And then we'll probably be ready for a settler. You go there. You rest a turn. Um, if I unlock that, do we still grow in one turn? Yes, we do. Good. And we get slightly more gold out of it. And I could buy this forest tile for a little bit more production. Is that worth spending our money on? Oh, we can even buy this wheat. You know what? Yeah, let's do it, actually. We still grow in one turn, because it's still the one food, and we shave a lot of turns off that builder. We're far enough away from building the um, the builder that I think this was fine. Since so ten turns away, we can spend our money on other things. You're gonna scooch up. Um, you can scooch up to here. That's gonna be good. Yeah, it's still dumb. Um, it's gotten better. And if anything else, it's, the the AI's got enough like boost to stuff that it's it is a major threat. The AI's less of a threat if you can actually get in a war with it. Because that's how you catch up. They have, like, much better cities than you do, so you go and beat them up and take the better cities. Um, if you can't beat them up, which actually might be a slight problem for a long time on this island map, then it becomes a lot trickier because they just get such a massive boost to all the things that it can become quite difficult. Um, in terms of priorities, I think at this point we want to go for writing and try to get ourselves up a campus as soon as possible. There's the place. Yeah, we can get ridding. That should be safe. We discovered a continent? Come on, show me the tooltip. Like, the tooltip shows up for a second as I move the mouse away for some reason. Okay, you know what? There's a continent map mode, right? Oh, over here! Atlantica, as opposed to our starting continent of... Zealandia. Alright. I was worried we wouldn't be able to discover a continent until we built a ship. This island is really interesting, actually. We have access to a surprising amount of land. Yeah, we're going to dot map this real soon. I'm going to move you here, and you're going to do that. I feel like you should work this instead of that. And pop. Awesome. Zealandia, that's named after the province I live. That would be in the Netherlands, I want to say. Boss, uh, Riser? When are you continuing Maya Civ 5? Maya Civ 5 ended, man! I might not have them all on YouTube. 
I just realized. Uh, let me double check on that, but we finished that game. Or rather, it finished us. There are going to be a lot more barbarians over here. Definitely going to be an issue. Um, I think with that in mind, I'm actually going to run the slinger back here and upgrade him to... Oh, no, I don't have the archery yet. Never mind. Thanks, Death's Visage. Um, that should be okay. I hope. It'd be really annoying if you got killed. So I think it might depend on what order you heal in. I think you heal at the end of the turn. All right, I worked out okay. Order found till healed. I'm gonna get you to like move over to here, and then I'll get the slinger to fortify until healed. We'll try to do a little bit of fog busting here. Yeah, I know, I decided to delay archery, which turned out to be fine. What do you want? I'm avoiding bloodshed. I've only met you. What am I supposed to do? Like, insta-declare war on you? Also, you know, you have ten times on military strength. Sorry, not all of us get to start with three free warriors and three freaking settlers. Some of us only get one. Okay, someone has built Stonehenge. Now, if that's one of the pers the people who weren't already going for a religion, the, the profit rate does get a little bit tight. But, yeah, so we'll have to run that project. So, we are doing that. 11 turns, trying to get that done. Um... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go Mysticism. Uh, Mysticism isn't useful until we unlock a slot, unless we want to build the Oracle, which would be beautiful. But, of course, Deity AI, hard to beat them to wonders. So, we can actually start working on early Empire over here. I think that's going to be fine. All right, let's go and I guess we'll just go and improve all three resources and the order doesn't matter so much. So we'll do that. I'll remove the lock over here. Yeah, and that's going to be okay. And they'll move over to the improved terrain soon. We got our trade capacity. Meh. You have more than one point per turn now? Oh, well, because things, yes, maybe. Yeah, we are at two. 4.6 over here. Right now, we're not in the running, but... I don't know. Hey, Belf Knight! Thank you very much! Mandatory overtime all this week for me, so got a little bit to share. Well, thank you very much! Cheers! I appreciate it. And Diedrich, not every series is um, is is constant daily. And actually, there's some Kerbal coming this week. It's already been recorded, and it's been scheduled for I don't remember when. But not every series is is like constant daily. The Kerbal stuff, especially, was mostly live streamed at the start, so it was a little less consistent. And everything's got a price. Can't record everything simultaneously, so we try to mix and match. But there is some Kerbal coming, and uh, you know, there's as I always say, there's a lot of other YouTube channels out there too. So. There you are. Um, I'm going to move you here just again. So we've got the end of the continent here. So this is an actual separate island. I thought it actually might wrap around here, but no. Pottery is done. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to Ridding after that. I'm very happy with it. Done, done, done. Keep working on a holy site prayer. And we'll get a boost to this at the end. Because it, like, produces faith every turn. Only gives you great profit points when finished. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of a catch-up. Once it's done. Yeah, we did get the God of the Sea Pantheon, so that's going to be really helpful. So there might be some fish or something on the other side, but we won't be able to see it. I'm going to go and stand you here for a little bit of uh, barbarian busting. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to get the other fish hooked up over here. Good tiles to work. Yeah, very good. Good income. How much cost to buy a settler? 480 That's kind of pricey. But we'll see. Baldur's Gate. I know. Although at this point, if I really wanted to play something Baldur's Gatey, I'd probably just play more Divinity. Because goddamn, Divinity Original Sin 2 is good. I say goddamn. So you're going to go in alert mode. Chill out over there. You are going to fishify. Excellent. Do we not... 
I guess we did get Celestial Navigation. Okay. Like, did we not get the boost for that? But yeah, 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 yeah. We got a lot of boosts going on. Ow! You'll have to place your bets uh, relatively soon as to whether or not we have access to iron. Because we don't need it for war, we probably have a million iron this time. Um, on the other hand, you always need iron for production boost, so it's actually not a bad thing. After riding, I am actually going to go and pick up archery. Because I don't think we actually really need to rush too many things, and archery will make it easier to continuously clear out these encampments here. Um, actually, before you move... You know what? I'm going to get you to move to here. We'll get you to heal in friendly territory, because it'll go a little faster. Yeah. No, I saw that. Zoomed in there for that reason. Alright, holy sight prayer, go, go. Like, it feels weird to not be producing something, but we really want to get a religion. I mean, if we don't get a religion... Ah, uh, we don't get to do the religious victory, which is entirely what we're trying to aim for right now. But it does feel odd. <laughs> One iron in this very bad place is what Giant Flying uh, Slug says. Yeah, oh, and someone to remember also says, One iron on crap spot. Turn out there's like iron under the desert, or it'll be up in the tundra or something like that. If we happen to get iron, can it... Can iron spawn on flat ground in Civ 6? I think so. So if we get iron here, like, our production and our capital all of a sudden goes crazy. I mean, we've got we've got a trickle. We've got enough uh, production with the God of the Sea that we're going to get consistent production of normal buildings. Maybe not enough to, like, rush wonders or anything like that, but pretty good. If we happen to get, like, an iron on a hill or something like that, then all of a sudden it goes kind of cray-cray. Because, yeah, we'll have these hills. We can mine quite a few things. We actually, actually can reach this hill as well. So our capital is actually looking very decent. It can, but not on forest, which is what those tiles were. Aha! Okay. So it could spawn here, for example. But not there or there. Groovy. I think I'm going to want to build um, a settler before I build the campus. By Dubai. So you know what? Actually, do archery first then. And then go back into writing. Yeah, that'll make more sense. And I will be upgrading this one slinger to an archer. So we'll compare before and after with our holy sight prayer. That's Gorgle, right? Yeah. Interesting. That's true. I can use Accumulated Faith to possibly rush a Great Prophet. Now, I mean, they're relatively expensive now, but we might be able to finish it off. So it's actually... Oh! My closest neighbor is someone who's going to spawn it. And you know what we've seen before? We've seen us, like, create a religion, and then, like, two turns later, 15 apostles suddenly appear in our land and convert over our one city. And we're like, oh, well, that's the end of the game. That's so what happened last time, is we got, like, insta-converted somewhere. So you fortify until healed. So we just finished that project. Alright, it definitely put us above uh, in terms of raw points. Although we're still 51 turns away because these guys are going a little faster. So they'll surpass us. But it helped. Now, I don't really want to do it again is the problem. Because I'm worried that it's going to send us too far behind. I suppose rather than rushing or er, doing the monument, I could go straight into a settler now and then try to get a second, like, freaking holy site up. I don't know if it'd be up in time to be relevant. No, no, we can't faith by now. It's still going to be 1160. I think I might settler before this monument. And you're actually going to come back over here. Settler, buy a shrine. Uh, we built the shrine. And we can't buy the holy site. If that's what you mean. Oh, craftsmanship. Yeah, let's do that. 
and gardens is done. Because we can switch out a God King now, because we don't need the uh, the bonus faith, really. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Um, yeah, State Workforce. There we go. Uh, I think Discipline's still okay for now. I think I'm going to take Urban Planning. Slightly better production. Priest found a new religion, so they got their profit. They got buddyism. We'll upgrade the archer. We'll do that. I think I'm going to want to prioritize getting out over here as quickly as possible. Mostly to see if I can snag the crabs. Not that it's the biggest issue. Although we have a fair amount of gold. Even with upgrading the archer, we might be able to do that. Flypy, Flypie! Thank you very much! Hey Quill, hello from Irish slash Belgian fan! Enjoying the stream with a nice Duvel? Yes, Duvel is an amazing Belgian beer. That you have to try it if you ever get the chance. I have, it is wonderful. I think we've got an actual Duvel glass upstairs. Uh, good luck and enjoy the whiskey! Thank you very much! I will certainly be enjoying some of that this afternoon while watching Briarstone uh, stomp around as uh, the... Omber Hulk in EU4 in his particular game. Okay, you become an archer. Excellent. Um, you don't think I can settle that hill? Well, net there. I'd probably settle, like, here. I think that will be legal. Oh, I can actually settle in either one of those places. Um, we got fresh water. In Civ 6, though, if we settle on top of the luxury source, we lose it, don't we? It's also pretty close to our capital. I think I would probably settle here. Because that gets me a fair number of resources. Gets me all the land here. And I could just buy one tile to snag the crabs. You get it? Do you not get it if you build it on a district? Thing is... Hmm... There's a fresh water bonus. It's still within range. Okay, you lose the fish. I think we build here. We could build a canal city over here, but, I mean, it's only going to save, like, one tile, so it's meaningless. In fact, it's better to not be on two coasts because it's easier to defend from other boats. I think that's going to be the spot, but, again, we are going to gonna dot map real soon now. Uh, you're going to be moving to there. Well, yeah, just move here for now. There you go. Yeah, complete that. Yeah, let's go and do it now. Let's get some map pins. Presumably the map pin fix is here for this. Um, whoops. So I'm thinking here. Um, it'd be nice if uh, in Civ 4 there was a great UI mod that made it be like the fat cross for the pins for the city planning, but that's going to be okay. Um... Here, because you've got one, two, three. You don't get this wheat. I'd like the wheat. We don't have to be on the coast everywhere. What if I... Although, then we don't have fresh water. Like, we don't have any water. Um, if I went and placed, say, here. I get some water bonus. We get the wheat. We get this cattle. We don't get this fish, but we do get the crabs. This cattle here. Obviously, you can work quite a few of the um, the tiles here. We can put a good district. Um, what would we A holy site adjacent to the world wonder, right? Or natural wonder. Down there. Something like that. I'll be checking the chat for some feedback in a second. One, two, three, four. I can settle here. Get fresh water. Sea resources. One, two, three. Okay, it doesn't get the crab or that. Um, tundra resources obviously suck. But there's a couple of different things. First of all, you can actually settle, say, on the tundra. Because then this tile, which is obviously a crap tile, but it doesn't matter that you're doing that. This would get us five sea resources. So no one ever works the fish. If I go there... Oh, it still doesn't get the fish. It doesn't really make one, much of a difference one way or another where I, I effectively settle here. Oh, I guess one thing to keep in mind is where I might want to build the harbor. I think I'd want to build the harbor here. Oh, yeah. Hold on, then. 
Delete. This actually becomes a pretty decent location. I think I clicked in the wrong place. If I settle a city here, and then I build a harbor right there, this is adjacent to three sea resources and gets the plus two gold from adjacent to the city. No fresh water, but it's on the coast, so it still gets a little bit. Fishing boats do give you some housing. And we could build maybe a couple of farms here for more bonus housing. Um, these tiles are obviously kind of poop. Aqueducts next to mountain. Or hill. Or, or, um, uh, or rivers. Like, if we were here, we could aqueduct here. Which is also next to the mountain, I suppose. I could settle... Okay, let's leave the pin there. I could settle here. That gives us the ability to build an aqueduct. But then we don't get... We don't get a really strong harbor placement. I mean, I could still... Um, eventually harbor to over here, because it's within range. Wouldn't be adjacent to a city, but that's not so bad. Next to Pearl. Well, well. Oh, 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 you're talking about for this city. Yes, because we can, um, we can aqueduct, um, there's an aqueduct icon, isn't there? This one. There, or inland, or something. Probably inland. Keep the coast for some types of wonders that might be an option. I still don't know what to do in the north, but it's probably not a priority to place ourselves there. Here, Canal City. There's clearly enough land here. I mean, even if this shortcut's here, this probably still worth having a little bit of a shortcut. And for all we know, this keeps going further. So putting that here gets us to the whales, the fish. Um, we could swap the wheat to this city if we want more growth. It's got this wheat. It's got this spice. Next to Natural Wonder plus Aqueduct. Why would we settle next to the Wonder? Oh, uh, we could move the city over here. For a better harbor. That is very true. The downside to that is we lose access to both the wheat and the cattle. And I think that would be weaker. I think it's better to be here and gain access to those two tiles. Unless we stuck another city in there. Now, I mean, there's room for a city somewhere in the middle. I still think I like this. I think we do very much end up with a city right in the middle of our continent. I think here, actually. Because we can fit a city in here, and it would just get to work not that much, honestly. One, two, three. One, two, th actually, hold on. We've got full coverage of this now. There would be very few tiles. With the cities placed something like this, there would be very few tiles that wouldn't be covered by some city. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. So it goes up to here. So there might be like a couple of tiles right here that don't get worked. Especially if we settle there, but I think we're okay. We can work the cotton either from Nellop, two, three, or from this city over here. Yeah, I don't think we built the middle city. I think we're freaking... You would move the west city, the south of the river for great holy site place. And... Double mountain, double wonder adjacency. One, two, mm. One, two, three. Okay, this city here, the Pearl City, if it's here or here, either way, it reaches this holy site. We can build a holy site here with this city. Don't forget the commercial hub harbor bonus. So, because I made a few changes to this. Does he get a bonus for being adjacent to the harbor? Yeah. That's right, because they at some point they made it so that you don't get double trade route, 
from having both a harbor and a commercial hub. But you do get the gold adjacency bonus. It's the commercial hub that gets the gold adjacency bonus from being next to the harbor. The harbor doesn't get one from being next to the commercial hub. So yeah, we could do this if we wanted to. That would get plus two gold out of the commercial hub. It's a possibility. Oops, I think I deleted an actual pin. It's kind of annoying because it's like, if you move to pan, it thinks it's a, it's a pin click. Which is something in our games, when we do our programming streams, we make sure that sort of crap doesn't happen. You know, campus over here. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, no, they're both the same. Although... Is there a reason we wouldn't want to build a campus here? This spot here. Because we could build a campus here, and then that would leave these trees around. But would we rather do something else? The advantage to building the campus here is that we can double up on our missions. One, two, th oh, hold on. This city wants to build a campus here, so no, we have to build them in both. So we end up with a campus there and another campus over here. But that's for this city over here. Bam. Could be a farming triangle over here, too. Oh, here could be a farming triangle. That is true. Problem is, assuming we want a campus in this city, then we have to do that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna quick save just in case like the game suddenly crashes and I lose all my my things. I mean, mostly we had to we had to, we can still make changes to this. What is she on crack? Yeah, you can put we could put the harbor. Let's let's put another pin in there for discussion. So at some point we have to make a decision for the harbor in our capital, what is most important to us? The plus two gold from being adjacent to the city center or the extra production from the harbor buildings from being next to a second thing? My cities are too close. Yeah, whose fault is that, Gorgo? Exactly, Pie Great. <laughs> what a nasty... She's just looking at my map pins and getting nervous about that. All right, so if we're concerned about Gorgo, what do we do? So a couple of things. First of all, we don't need to rush irrigation because right now we're not working anything that needs irrigation. We could work our way up very quickly to say shipbuilding to unlock Quadreams. I suppose we could start building galleys now, which might not be a bad idea. What I think I'm tempted to doing is I think I'm gonna unlock bronze working to reveal iron just in case this affects our city placement. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working towards shipbuilding um, and we're going to pump out a couple of galleys real soon from, from Nellup. I think we still have to build the monument. But I think after that is like two galleys. And then hopefully get the quadreams going on and maybe go to an early war. I'm going to move my archer back to my capital. Uh, buy Monument is an interesting idea. We actually have a lot of money. You know what? Yeah, we will buy it. No, she just keeps taunting me. Like, I love it. Like, she's like, you've got too many units. You're scary. And then she's like, what are you, some kind of wuss? Like. All right, I'm now officially denounced. Uh-huh. You you just stand there and be on alert mode there, buddy boy. Alright, you smack that guy. Like is she just being fully belligerent? She's just trying to, like... She just keeps hitting that insult button again and again and again and again. She wants me to declare so I get the warmonger penalty. That's the way it's gonna go. 
clear that out. We get a few extra bucks. That actually puts us above 360, which is what we need for the monument. Excellent. Um, that's going to be very nice. Because our culture sucks. Our science sucks, too. But Oh, we should take a look to see if we can faith buy a great person yet. Uh, no, 880 points, so no. We are only 37 turns away. We are currently leading the race to the next Great Prophet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to move you to, say, here, because that's a hill, I think. It's a little hard to tell. Um, but we're going to go and stand on that, do a little bit of fog busting. So the crabs have gone. Oh, well. So I don't know if we've got to rush this location anymore. Nice to get the luxury resources. All right, people. First settler. Mercury does give you bonus science. It does also have this great freaking um, campus location. Move one tile north. The problem is, if I move here, then I'm out of range of the great campus location. If I move inland here, where the AI is recommending a settlement, then I'm totally inland. Although, I could build an aqueduct. And all of a sudden, that's really not bad. Between the Mercury, you can build a strong industrial zone. Oh, now that's the other thing. Because these are all mines, right? So we could build an industrial zone here. If I do settle on the coast, I could actually build an industrial zone here as well. The problem is, if I settle right here, and I build an aqueduct here, all of a sudden, my good industrial zone locations have all gone away. You know what I mean? Like, I could still maybe build a decent one here adjacent to things, which is still okay. Mercury City, everyone here is just crazy. It's only close by the spice. Again, then we move further away from the um, from the campus location, which might be fine. I feel like this is not as strong over here. Canal first. I think Canal City is actually kind of weak. Right, its production is not going to be fantastic early on. Is Mercury a quarry? I guess it doesn't say on the, the tooltip here. Well, I mean, you still get adjacency bonuses from quarries, though, so it doesn't matter. It's a luxury, and it gives you plus one science. Oh, you do mine it. Bottom industrial zone should be for Nellop. One, two... Ah... Uh, yes, I agree. Nellop is there. I'm thinking I settle on the coast. And then industrial zone here. And we live with the fact that we don't have a um, an aqueduct. Okay, we could settle here. Oh, Venetian Arsenal. Uh, that's true. We can Venetian Arsenal next somewhere over here. And that would be insanely good on this map. I don't remember what the icon for it is. Probably masked over it 17 different times. Oh, there it is. What about west? Gorg was already pissed. Doesn't matter where I settle. West of the recommended location. Get hill plus two mercs. One, two, three. We lose the fish, we lose the spices. If I move west, I lose the fish and the spices. If I'm willing to lose the campus location, then settling right starts to make a lot of sense. Because, for example... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to label these things. So, let's call this one A, B, C. 
if we settle A, we've got a good harbor here, adjacent to the city, adjacent to one sea resource. Then we open this up for a good industrial zone for this new city, for example. Nellip still gets an industrial zone here for the Venetian arsenal. That's going to be okay. We don't get a, um, a harbor, or sorry, an aqueduct, but that's probably all right. B, <laughs> rush B. Someone's... A lot of people like B. And I think B was our initial idea. It's B and A are basically the same. Um, B doesn't have the strongest uh, harbor site. Well, that's not true. I can still harbor right here. It's still going to be adjacent to a sea resource. The nice thing about taking B is it also guarantees that we keep this sea lane open. That's what we're going to do. Because if it gets blocked by Gorgo until we take this city, we might have a really hard time moving through here. B it is! And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush B. Deleted. Deleted. Add a pin. We are going to be industrial zoning. We are going to be harborizing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the problem with A, you're right, doesn't get the campus. So B doesn't get a aqueduct, but other than that, it's pretty freaking swell. And yeah, you're going to that hill. Good. And you're going to rest there. Someone has built the Oracle. It's a shame. It's a nice wonder, but we'll live without it. Watch, watch. In two turns, we get iron. Watch it, like, completely change our plans. No barbarian encampments yet. Good. We're, we're unescorting our settler here. Uh, which, you know, is often bad, but there's no barbarians there now. All right, iron. Hey! Canal location suddenly looks a lot better. Is that our only iron? That's okay. I mean, with only one, we're not building iron units, but that's fine. Do 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 do. Uh, great people, great profit. Oh, we're gonna lose the race. Um, we need to do another holy site prayer now. Is that on the Mercury? I have to say, that was an option I hadn't considered. Now, I don't know which one you mean, but if we were to settle here, we can... We can build an aqueduct here. We can mine, 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 still industrial zone here. Health problems much. The South Mercury? I don't know about that one. I guess it gets fresh water, so we don't have to worry about an aqueduct. Um, we still get a good industrial zone site there with three instead of four. But that's okay. We sort of screw up Nellop's industrial zone, but it's not that meaningful. We lose the spice. We're just going to go for B. It's fine. The advantage to B is still it, it keeps this waterway open. There might be some that are, you know, better than others and various things, but we're okay. Um, still go to early empire for now. No barbarians yet. Woo the spice must flow. All right, she hasn't attacked me yet. I don't know why. If we were, if we had a ground connection, I bet she would have. Uh, she might not actually have the ability to embark yet. So we're gonna rename you to Balamar. Balamar, the beautiful city. And I'm gonna put a note here that this is for Balamar over here, because otherwise it gets a little bit confusing. But that will work out. Um, I'm tempted to buy these two tiles to keep the sea lane open. Although there are no resources there. If we go... I'm going to buy the spice. 
I don't have any money. I will buy the spice once I can, because that way her border should not expand in our direction anymore, because it shouldn't have any particular pressure to do so. Um, I'm not going to start a holy site where this is. I think I'm actually just going to go straight to a monument here. Yeah, we'll buy the spices when we can. We will see... Uh, we will look elsewhere in the future. We're actually not planning on settling near you at all. After this goes, we're going to see if we can faith buy the, uh, the prophet. Boom. Early Empire boost. Very nice. Hey, reduce the cost of purchasing tile by 20%. There we go. So in two turns, we'll actually grab that. Save ourselves quite a bit of gold. And before she closes the sea line at the end of the cape. You could be. Um, but her, her tiles won't be inclined to move in that area. It will happen at some point. But, you know. Oh, what are you building there? Holy sight? Holy sight. Alright, that's done. Did I not turn on the pop-up instruction for this? Something might be slightly off, because I'm going to forget to change my uh, policies at some point. I'm going to Grand Land Surveyor. I'm also going to go and pick Maritime Industries for the faster ships. Next, Civic. Yeah, we're going to start on uh, Political Philosophy, um, because I really want a new government type, and we may just hard research this one. We're not really in... You know, I loaded the game up with 18 freaking city-states. I haven't met one yet. I mean, not that we've gone very far. And it's possible that w the game wasn't able to place all 18 city-states. That is entirely possible. Watch this be another game where there are, like, no city-states for some weird reason. And, like, only four civilizations. We've That happened once. Why don't you harvest the mercury west of Belomar? Then get an aqueduct. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Holy crap. Is that three food, three production tile? Okay, it's a hill wood, which would be a 2-2. Two -two. I guess spices add plus one food, plus one production? You can't harvest luxuries. Oh, okay. Well, that would be part of it. I mean, I could build an aqueduct on top of this, but... Um... Wow! What a god tile! That's insane! The spice must... I mean, I guess there's a reason that the, the emperor and everything was so crazy about getting his hands on spice. You're there, you're there, you're there. Yeah, we gotta finish this. Let me build a couple of ships. To explore, actually. Maybe meet city-states. And then, of course, defend ourselves against assault as well, but... Water plus mercury, great idea. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, the people in Balamar, for some reason, have a reputation of being slightly crazy. Okay, she's just gonna keep taunting me. Okay, projects are done. Come on, if we don't get... if I, I like this start. I like everything about this start. If we don't get a goddamn religion, though... Okay, we're now 11 turns away. Although... Uh, how many profits have gone? Because um, I'm not getting notices about it. Religion. Okay, three of five. Okay, only, only three profits have gone. We've got one in 11 turns... And actually, we'll be able to faith buy it probably in a couple of turns. We're going to get our religion, you guys. Unless someone else is doing the freaking project, in which case we got screwed. We get, uh, we've get we got double production towards boats right now, which is really nice. Da -da 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 -da. A dune map would make Petra a bit too strong. Ah! They replaced all the barbarians with sandworms. There we go. Blam.
Religion is ours. Because it's not about, like, there's not a limit on founding religions. It's a limit on how many great prophets you have, which obviously limits your religion. But if we've got a great prophet, we're good. Yeah, I agree. Stop ship bailing on 50%. I think it's not going to matter. I think it'll line up right regardless. Uh, first of all, I missed a couple of tips that came in. My apologies. Uh, Clowindwing, thank you very much. Uh, for that, hello from Vancouver on the West Coast. Hey, love your work, and you've kept me digital company over many hours. Any chance of Vancouver fan meet? I've never been to Vancouver. I've been to Victoria once. I do want to go to Vancouver very much, although everyone tells me if you go to Vancouver, you're not going to want to come home uh, until you, maybe you look at the house prices and, and the traffic, and then you'll be like, never mind, screw Vancouver. Um, hopefully, at some point, we'll make it out there. Hopefully. Really want to. Uh, I'll be sure to let everyone know. Soccer man, 12 UK. Thank you as well. You can settle in the middle of Mercury to get uh, to the east of your capital, then build an aqueduct condensing the mountain. Still allows you to get all the sea resources. Love your stream. Yeah, clearly a lot of debate over here. What what turns out to be the single most strongest? You know, I think anytime there's a lot of debate, that means that all the options are relatively good. So we had to pick something. We did. So there we have it. Nightblade 102. Total War Warhammer 2 comes out in eight days. Are you excited, Quill? I know I am. Well, I may have been playing a bunch of Total War Warhammer 2 already. And, of course, we will be streaming Total War Warhammer 2, the Lizardmen campaign, starting on Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be a Total War live stream, which is going to be awesome. I hope you're excited, because I know I am. Lex Noctis, thank you as very much as well for your contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. Hey, Quill, finally catching the live stream since my promotion last month. Sea of Goodness with some nice cognac. Ooh, very nice. I do like cognac. Cheers. Also looking forward to the Total War 2 Let's Play weekend. Deadmate. Uh, let's show some love for the amazing person, Essentia. Thanks for all she does in chat and behind the scenes. You are awesome. You too, Quill. Thank you very much. And yes, absolutely, Essentia, thank you very much for the continued awesome support and uh, maintenance of our entire community here. Uh, and a big part of why the community is so amazing. And we do have an amazing community. Uh, but that influence is a big part of the key to that. So thank you, Essentia, and thank you, Deadmate. And Logan F., thank you as well. Big contribution to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. Have some whiskey on me, dude. There might be some premium slash not so premium Norwegian chocolate coming in snail mail soon. <sighs> Have you any requests for what kind of chocolates? Okay, so I've gotten a few. This is, last time was maybe a couple of years ago, but we have gotten a couple of care packages of various Scandinavian chocolate sources, and there's some. Oh, there's so many good ones. Um, uh, first of all. I like black licorice, and I like you know that sort of stuff. You guys are very big on that. I don't like black licorice flavor in literally all the things, which sometimes happens in some of these Scandinavian care packages. Some of the things, amazing. All of the things, maybe a little less amazing. Um, but the, uh, what's that company? Is it like Fatser or something like that? I don't remember. They were like, th there's controversy as to where they're actually from because they were bought out by different companies. We got some of those at one point, I think probably from a Danish viewer. No, a Finn viewer. And there were like some like strawberry cream ones. I don't know. Everything is all good. Everything is all good. <laughs> Why Scandinavian chocolate when you can have Italian one? Well, if you live in Italy, send me some Italian chocolates. <laughs> Marabou's good, yeah. Yeah, Fatzer. I think that's how people told me to pronounce it. I, I used to say Phaser, but... Anyway. Uh, we don't have much time left. We have half an hour. Let me play some more sieve rather than talk about chocolates. We don't have to turn off anything. No, we're good. Next turn. Ba -da 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 -da. Religion of the Sea Spice Worm. Yeah, what are we going to call our religion, you guys? All right. You are here. We need to found a religion. we got our first ship in. Next ship is going to be in six turns, which means we're going to be good on shipbuilding over here, which is going to be nice. whoop -ow! Now, sometimes we name the religion after a subscriber. Sometimes we go with a thematic one. I kind of like the turtle as an aquatic thing. Maybe. Calamari, Cult of Tetra, Religion of the Inquisition. Kuda! <laughs> Kuda, the uh, leopard god of our dwarf fortress. Charm Seed. Yeah, Kuda Charm Seed, that would be his name. Krabby Cult. I think we're going we're gonna to factor in the Kuda. That's going to be okay. Cult of Kuda. Cult of Kuda. Maybe we should spell cult with a K. The cult of Kuda. Um, I don't think there's an ideal symbol. I mean, we got a lion, but... Oh, and he erases the name. Um, 
And we got the fish one. We could be like, well, the, the, it's the Piskies, Pisces over here. That seems appropriate too. I mean, so if it, we've got a sea-based religion, I'm not sure that we should name it after a cat. Now, while some of the big cats are quite fond of water, I don't know. The Drowned Cuda. The Drowned Cuda. What is dead may never die. Okay, the religion of the Drowned Cuda. I like it. Cats like fish. There you go! Perfect. <laughs> Paella ingredients. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are saying I like it. Alright, good. Excellent. Uh, choose a religious belief. So, you know, not all the options are here because some of the things went. Shrines and temples provide housing. Not bad. Plus one amenities and cities with two special day districts. A little more happy. Plus one percent production for each follower. In a big city, that'll come out, you know, to ten plus ish, you know, production. I percent production. I mean, that's not bad. These are all good. I mean, none of these are a bad pick. I think I like the housing. Although, I mean, we often have problems with happiness as well. But yeah, we do lack a lot of fresh water. I think the housing is going to help compensate for that. Of course, bigger cities need more amenities, so there's going to be, you know, sort of a balancing act going on there. But I, I like the housing. We're going to go with that. Alternatively, one of the religious buildings provides housing, doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Now, if we do want to go for a religion victory, we do have to spread our religion a lot, so we might want to go for mosques. So missionaries and apostles have plus one spread. Uh, Poiled the Llama, thank you very much. I was watching your streaming class and my electronic college teacher came up to me and said, I know him. I have worked with him. Uh, it amazes me how you and Guillaume work together. Hello from Quebec. I believe I know who you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Small world. Quill does not need amenities. His people are always happy. And if they're not happy, then we just whip them. Um, uh, Holy Sites Theater Squares get more stuff. Faith for every city following this religion and other civilizations. Campus commercial hubs give extra stuff. We're not going to be as commercial hubby because we're going to have a lot, I think, of harbors. And while there is the adjacency bonus, mostly the reason you build one of these is for trade route, not for the plus two gold aspect of it. Uh, cheaper. Holy order is pretty good. Nothing wrong with a little nerve stapling. Alpha Centauri, the best. I mean, we got this the auto spread. I don't think the auto spread is something we're going to be able to rely on on uh, an island map. My religion pressure never drops due to losses in theological combat is also really good. Yeah, I don't think we need the stronger or the further. I think what we do is we either have our missionaries be cheaper or get plus one spread or we don't take penalties from losing theological combat. You know, the tithe, pretty good, but, you know. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Mosque now, isolation later. You know what I like about the mosques is it's more buildings that also produce more faith. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Get the mosques rolling so you get more, more faith going, and then we'll try to improve things later on. I'm a big fan of any religious pick that gives you more religious buildings. Love it. Bam. Boost towards theology. Excellent. Wonderful. All right, our first boat, uh, we are going to go and peek around here. I suspect we can't actually go through here. Oh, we can! Of course, because we saw her come here. We've got a connection to her island, to the Greek island. All right, shipbuilding, we're good. You're good here. You're good here. You're good here. I mean, I'm not managing my population, but that's, you know, pretty standard. I'd like to build another settler soon, but we do need to finish the second ship. Protect against Gorgo's Apostles. Yeah, that's true too. Um, so we'll need to faith buy some faithy combat units. Mm -hmm. I think Balamore might build the holy site right here. What's that? Oh, it's their um, their unique their unique theater square, right? The Acropolis. 
I'm also curious what's over here. These are what, the Quadreams? No, they're just galleys, like what I've got. Okay, that's fine. Although they are blocking me, which is slightly annoying. But I'm not convinced we can really walk through this area anyway. Yeah, let's go and make the long trip over that way. That's going to be fine. Balamar has grown because it's working that god tile of awesome. Um, we will have to consider if we're going to purchase another tile. And at some point, we're probably going to want to switch um, to um, to Ilkum and pop out a couple more builders. I think we're good for now. The God Tile of Awesome, I love it. Yeah! Hey, some things are just very, like, apt. Oh, it would be nice to get a trade route going soon here, too. That might be the next thing Nellip builds, actually. Ah! You know what? I think Nellop will build a settler. Balamar may build the trade route. Worse than Sophus. All right, denounce me again. Uh, buy the holy site tile, and then flip this over, and then you can yeah start building that stuff. That's that's reasonable. There's a boost towards shipbuilding. Excellent. Um. Oh, we can't build mosques until we've unlocked the temples. Yeah. Um, I am... I'm going to build a settler. And you are going to come down here. And you are going to come around this way. What you're going to do. Alleys. We'll probably freeze political philosophy soon, because hopefully we can actually find some city-states. Mint AI then announced this as their second action. I mean, she's been insulting me and denouncing me nonstop. But she hasn't done anything yet. So you're going to build... Oh, I can't build the... Uh... Wait. It's in Civ 5 that there's a difference between land and sea trade units, right? Traders are just generic. In here. Uh, and they also build roads. Uh... <laughs> I don't remember. I've just been. I've been. I, this is what you get when you switch different versions of Civ. Yeah, there's only the one. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna get that going. We'll get the settler going, and then we'll switch over to Ilkum and we'll spam out a few builders. <laughs> My God. It gets really bad when you like decide to randomly play a game of Civ Four, and you're like, I I have no idea what's going on anymore. Uh, we'll go and finish Mysticism to unlock these cards, and then when hopefully we meet some city-states, we'll finish Political Philosophy. More spices. They're in the medieval era. It's 1200 BC! It's 1200 BC! Oh my god, daddy. <laughs> Why is it so hard? Oh. Greek culture. Oh, they might have entered it through uh, through culture. That's true. Might not actually be a tech thing. Um... Last traders into bark. Great lighthouse would actually be really nice if we could build it, but it's so tricksy. I guess we'll get irrigation. It's relatively cheap, and it's what we need to uh, to actually improve to improviate the spices. Oh, <gasps> someone we can spread a religion to. Sup, dude? Where's your capital? Down there. Excellent. Size eleven. That's not terrifying at all. to the wrong neighborhood. Oh, is that the end of my movement? Oh my god. How much am I just about to get shot here? Whew. 
Whew, didn't die. Run away! Barbar -bar Isle. Oh, come on! Different governments. Like, <laughs> meet someone, denounce next turn. What the? F I'm gonna kill you all. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna convert you. Oh, hello. Now there's the Petra city. Right there. Barbarian spotted your city. So, I guess the Greeks are barbarians in this case? Sure. Do that, get some vision. Probably just automate you soon here. We'll see. Still okay with what you guys are doing. You're about to grow some more, which is nice. Still have a massive city-state. Again, I set it to 18. Um, I could go colonization, actually, and maybe actually f do all the settling, back to back to back. Because we want, we want three more cities. Why don't I actually just go and do that? Yeah, before someone else settles there, and it's not my island anymore. Nice spot for a freaking city over here. I mean, it's not going to be ours, but... So, uh, city-states. What's your deal, man? Oh, we met Amsterdam! Hello! Train a swordsman. Well, I don't know about that. We do have one envoy, so we'll do that. Get plus four gold. That actually will be very nice. So we have to go this way. Alright, you're just gonna keep yelling at me for not starting wars. Can city states denounce? Yeah, in before Amsterdam denounces me. Don't really know the because how about deity? Well, in deity, the AI starts with three settlers, uh, four free techs, four free civics, and a massive boost to production and science um, and civics. They also start with a, like three or four free swordsmen. So if you meet them on land, like early on, they're just gonna go and like insta declare war on you when there's no warmonger penalty. Um, so it's basically impossible to keep up with them in tech or production or anything like that. The only real way to like balance things out is by using superior human brain tactics. I'm sorry I haven't spread my religion yet to you. It's like brand new. We haven't re even written the Bible yet. We don't even know how to pronounce the Bible properly. That that's how new this religion is. Like settle down, buddy. God. I really want the um. We need, we need a government as soon as possible. I'm just going to go and hard research this. If we get lucky, we'll meet two other city-states real fast. <sighs> what do you guys think? Eleven turns. Could we meet two more city-states in eleven turns? It's actually very likely. You know what? It's fine.
All right. I am going to build another settler in each of the two cities. The cost to build settlers does go up with each one. We may want to revisit what's going on over here. Depending on what goes on. Like, what we reveal. I think Pearl City is a no-brainer. I think it's 100% a no-brainer. It's just too good. So we're going to go to Pearl City over here. <clears throat> um, wow, we can get a whole lot of gold. Normally I'm a fan of internal trade routes because of the food and production. Oh, and we want to build a road. Never mind. We have to start with an internal trade route so we get a road going. So we can move around. Pearl Harbor. Ha! Huh. Yeah, and again, we'll have to make the decision whether we build the harbor here for the plus two gold or build the harbor here for an extra point of production or two from, like... Our C upgrades. I think I actually will probably prioritize over here. With the idea being, we may not build um, all the harbor improvements in this city, for example. In which case, the adjacency doesn't matter um, as much. And therefore, the adjacency from the city here would be a little stronger. Congo's got a galley over here. Fair enough. It will get internal roads right now because I don't think we can do... We can't do an overseas um, trade route until here. Right now we're forced to do a land-based trade route. So it is going to build the internal road. I don't know if at some point it'll flip the other way. Don't forget the commercial hub. Well, there's that too, but... Again, despite the extra plus two gold you'll get from a commercial hub... Um, we'll see. Congo declares war on Nubia. So apparently Nubia is down here. So one of the city-states I want to meet. And I'm not gonna. No, oh, there's a goodie hut up there. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to move my warrior out. Because I'm still doing a little bit of um, barbarian busting. Hmm. Harbor gain anything from being anything other than city center? If yes, aqueduct, holy site, harbor wouldn't be best. I don't, th I don't think the harbor gets adjacency bonuses from any other districts. We can... Double check here, actually. Plus, well, it gets plus one for every two adjacent districts. But that's it. it does get plus one gold for each sea resource. So I guess here would give us plus two. This would give us plus three. So it actually would be better, probably, to build it here. We get one less gold early on. Um, but it's got the possibility of getting, like, the more adjacency bonuses. Jeebus! It's 875 BC and they've got these caravels. Oh, AI gonna AI. Yeah, I guess I've got to send it back down here place where it's more likely to find something. Of course, we don't have our um, our campuses up, but they still have insane science going. Uh, it's actually, that's interesting. It's actually going to pick up this tile automatically via faith. I'm not sure why it's expanding there, but I'm very happy that it is. And yeah, I'm very happy to settle here. Not Cordoba, but rather, it's going to be Dino J. Dino J Town. Hello, hello. Um, I think you can probably just start with a monument. I think that's okay. So yeah, after these two settlers are done, um, we might start on the campuses right then, or I'm thinking more likely to the two builders. So probably when drama and poetry go those, I'll probably switch to Ilkum, depending on how the timing works out. We actually might just go back to um, the plus one production one. Okay, we... 
do have the boost of currency. I don't know how important that is to unlock. I'm not sure how important any of this is to unlock right now. We have the shipbuilding for the Quadreams already. Yeah, look at currency. We still gotta find some goddamn city states. I mean, that wasn't necessarily productive. The problem is we actually might not be able to reach any city states. Just, you know, because we're limited to coasts right now, right? It's entirely possible. We are delaying our government get. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> we are going to hard research drama and poetry. We're very unlikely to build a, a wonder anytime soon. We have won nearly every game we've played on Day of Difficulty. So we do tend to do pretty well. It's not 100% lock by any stretch of the imagination. But we have won most games against Deity. Well above 50%. I would suspect we're probably at least something like 80%. But that sounds vaguely right. Somewhere around there. Although we haven't played like that many games. So, our, um, our, uh, statistical, like, we don't necessarily have enough confidence in our stats, but I think it's something like that. I don't, I haven't had any religious wins on Deity. I've only done one religion, um, game ever, and it wasn't on Deity. I think it was one below Deity. It was very early on, very, very early on. Possibly, like, the second or third game we played. I'm really regretting not having gone straight for the um, the government tech. God damn, that hurts. Although, there we go. That's Lisbon. We only need one more. Okay. Dun, dun. Yeah, that's still fine. <clears throat> No, it wasn't the Japan game that was a religious win. It was, um... What, what's the what's the Viking one in this game? Is it Norway in Civ 6? I think it's Norway. What's your mission? You want to be converted religiously. Uh, oh, we, right, we need temples before we can do that. What do we need to actually build temples? Theology? Okay. Which we need drama and poetry for. Okay, yeah, that's good. And we've already got the boost to that. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be with Beeline Theology over there. What got built? Terracotta Army. Mm -hmm -hmm. Norway. Back in beta. Oh, pre-release! Yeah, so... <laughs> long, long time ago. And we definitely were not on Deity back then. Because at that time, I didn't realize how easy Deity was. My first Deity game was an offline game. I was just playing for myself. Um, and I played as Scythea. And it just ruffle stomped the Deity AI. And that was when I was like... Oh, hold on a second. This is actually really easy. Although, it was a Pangea map, and I was Scythea, which is, like, sick overpowered. Sick overpowered. Eh, we can probably go there safely. Yeah, that's fine. North or south? Mm, north. All right, another denouncement. Sure. Oh, temples for apostles but you can get missionaries as shrines. Oh, indeed. Okay, so we just don't have any faith right now. Um, I'm still gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze out some builders real quick. Because we do have some tiles that can be improved, especially with new cities. So. What has changed over here? Hmm.
It feels like we should definitely be looking to fit in two cities over here. If not even three. Canal City's not the most important. This is not a, It's not a very long trip to go around. Canal Cities are very cool, but it's not critical. Let's say, for the sake of argument, we are not going to go Canal City. If it weren't for the fact that there were a million barbarians here, I'd be tempted to make the run across. If we settled here, that gives us whales, fish, whales, spice, stone, iron... And we can still settle up here. We just might not settle right on the canal because of the amount of overlap. Um, instead, we might settle a little further up. Like, say, right here. Now, we'd be on a hill there, which means we don't get to take advantage of mining the hill. But, we could do that. We could... Aqueduct right over here. That gets us this fish, this crab, the spice, the wheat, which is otherwise not being worked. It can toggle some stuff with dino over here with these. I'm kind of digging this. Someone said south of the rice. Well, I'm if I build a city here, I can't build a city there. It's too close. And if I build a city here, then, again, we can't build a city down there, and I think we lose some stuff. I suppose I could settle on the spices. If we were to settle on the spices... It adds this fish. We get... The, the spice luxury gets added to us. We don't get to work that tile. We get the fish. It gives us maybe a little bit more secret zone control. Settle on the rice. We could do that. We could settle on both the spices and on the rice. This location, one, two, three, would get the iron. So would the rice location. And that does leave the possibility of another city somewhere in here. If we were to settle on the rice... We could settle on the marsh. So, one, two, three. I mean, minimal overlap with Rice City. Not any that actually matters. Either one of them can get the spice. This city, like, this wheat could belong to... Um, to our capital, but it could also be worked over here, since our capital has tons of food. So now we're talking about this city gets double wheat, gets the this fish, may or may not work this fish. We can choose where that goes. Build two cities and expand a bit. So there's those are two possibilities. Possibility is this if we want three cities. Alternatively, I would say we settle here and then still in the canal location. Wheat City has no iron, but, I mean, obviously, the iron gets worked regardless. There's a fair amount of overlap with the capital. But that's really it. These two cities don't really overlap that much. This one does overlap with the capital a fair bit, but claims a bunch of land over here. And you're, not, you're never going to work 100% of the tiles, so overlap doesn't matter. Keep all three, but settle north of the spices. So over here, you're saying, settle there instead, which would also work. Loses the fish. Actually, loses two fish. I just realized. Settle here and settle on there. So that would be the two-city um, setup that I was actually, we were looking at, right? So this would be like, here, we're going to call this combo two. We end up with a city there, an aqueduct here, in the case of combo 2. Apparently we changed our map modes here. Um, and this is combo 2. 
As opposed to combo three, which would be those three locations. This be a four food tile as is? Yeah. You know what? That is actually super strong. I think we go with the two city comp. It's going to be fine. And then there's the god of the sea bonus. Um, which is true. So if we settle down here, we get two extra fish. That's two extra god of the sea plus one productions. I think... Six and one and a half dozen the other. This, this, the thing is, if we go with the two com two city combo, we could still settle here, but I think that's too much overlap. This city here does get pretty good God of the Sea interaction. In the three city setup, these cities start off much weaker. They might have more long term potential, but they do really start off kind of crappy. The two city setup starts off much stronger, which actually I think is better. I think that's what we gotta rely on. The three setup city setup is better long term. Like a hundred turns from now. But we gotta make it there, so I'm gonna go with two. God of the Sea is already available. We've already, we've already gotten it. We have God of the Sea. So I'm going to go with the two city setup. And be happy and fine with it. I think I'm going to start from here. Because this is another good spice tile here. I didn't realize spices were so sick good. Four food tile. So we'll probably settle here. Just because it's you know closer, easier to defend. And then we'll work over there. I'm okay with this. Slightly more accelerated. Our long-term plan involves, you know, conquering everything, so we got time for it to happen. Alright, I still need to meet a third city-state. Come on, baby. Make it happen. Give me that government. Save me 11 turns of civic. Well, that's a very delayed government at this point, and I'm kind of unpleased about that. Oh, we gotta put a cut in here. It takes 30 minutes to settle city. Hey, this is an important decision. Not quite as important as deciding what hairstyle to, to have your character have in a... Um, uh, we're going to start half-researching these guys in an RPG, but it's pretty important. So we have to stop here, because Barstone's going to be starting his stream in just a second. I am in a hey, it's Nubia! Nubia Sup, Nubia? Yeah, let's be friends. Please don't denounce me instantly. That would be really nice if you could maybe do that. I would appreciate it very much. Got to find that city-state. All right, that's going to be the end of this particular turn. And this particular stream, next stream is going to be on Friday, Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We start our Total War Warhammer 2 um, playthrough of the Lizardmen. Be there or you're a dirty, filthy Skaven. Mwah. So we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to be hanging out in Barrystone stream, watching, see what he's up to. Lots of videos going live on the Ebtoast today. I think we've got six videos going live today, which is crazy sauce. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.